All right, do you believe in God? Do you serve God? Say it again. Yeah, this is this your church right here? Okay, all right. So does your pastor teach you how to get the kingdom? Give me Matthew chapter 19, all right? I want to know if he teaches this. Matthew chapter, thank you. Matthew chapter 19, all right? Read what you got. The book of Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Well, I was just talking to a lady down here, right? And I believe she lives in this community. And your church is in this community. And she said that you can get the kingdom of God coming as you are. Is that in the Bible? God says come as you are. Is that in the Bible? Say that loud, sis. I'm going to say it again. Hold on. I want you to think about it. All right? I was talking to a lady down the street. I believe she lives in this community. All right? And she said that God says come as you are. And your church is right there. All right? So, I'm at, okay. I want to ask him, though. Is that all right? I want to. All right. So, what you say? John, right? All right. So, John, is it all right to come as you are? Does the Bible say that anywhere, come as you are? I'm asking you, John. What's your answer? Yes or no? Does the Bible say that? Maybe you don't know. Is that fair? Which one is it? You gotta give me an answer. You gotta say something. You either know or you don't know. You yes or no. Which one is it? What you got, John? All right, come close, come close, come close. I want to deal with you. Come close, John. I want to deal with you. All right? Before we get that, give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm going to show you something. God says you're a leader, John. What? You're a leader. That's you believe right. that? You're a leader. What? You out here, you look like a leader to me. I need you to stand up like a leader what? in this community. You understand that? What? All right, read what you got. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is who? Christ. Is who? Christ. Christ is your leader. Right. You're required to walk just like he walked. Right. You gotta stand up manfully just like he stand up. Right. You understand that? Give me Matthew chapter 7, verse 29. I'm gonna show you something. Alright? I don't know if your pastor's teaching you this, but we're gonna teach it to you today. Right. You understand? Read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 29. Who's your leader? Who's your leader? Christ. Christ is your leader. Remember what we read? The head of every man is who? The head of every man is who? It's Christ. Who's the head of man? Go back. He wasn't paying attention. Pay attention this time, John. All right? Read what you got. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. Come on. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Who's the head of man? Christ. Who's your leader? Christ is your leader. Go back to where we were. All right? Christ is your leader. So what's that mean for you? You, you're a leader if you do what? If you follow and pattern yourself just like Christ. Right. That's what's going to make you a leader, John. Right. Come on. Matthew chapter 7 and verse 29. Right. For you tell them as one having authority. Having what? Authority. Having what? Authority. Who was just doing the teaching to the people with authority? Who was that? That was Christ, John. Right. So how are you required to speak? Right like Christ. Right. And the Bible describes it how? Come on. For he told them as one having authority. Having what? Authority. You gotta you gotta teach and speak with what, John? With authority. Teach. That's confidence. Right. So when I ask you a question, you understand? If you don't know, I don't know. It's okay. Right. Guess what, John? I don't know everything. I don't have all the answers. Right. And it's okay. It's okay, John. I ain't gotta have all the answers. Right. But I gotta be able to confidently say, I don't know. Right. You understand? Or yes, the Bible says that. Or no, the Bible doesn't say that. Show it to me. Prove it. The Bible says prove all things. You know that, right? You understand? So it's okay to not know. Right. All right, so what we're gonna do today is show you what to do to get the kingdom of God. That's right. All right, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Read what you got. All right, read what you got. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Yeah. Read it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? What good things shall I do, right? That I shall have what? Eternal life, which is to live forever. All right, raise your hand. My sister right here recording, right? Do you want to get the kingdom of God? Yes. Your wife, does she, you want to get the kingdom of God? John, I know you want to get the kingdom of God. Because you're still standing here right now. Right. That's how I know you want to get the kingdom. Come on. 
And he said it to him, why callest thou me good? Why, why are you calling me good? This was Christ's response. Come on. There is none good but one. This is the man that have done no sin. No sin at all. He said, why are you calling me good? There's only one good, and that's who? That's his leader, which is who? The Most High God. This is Christ speaking. You understand that he can't be talking to himself? Surely your church doesn't teach that Christ is talking to himself right now. You understand? We need to get And he said it to him, why callest thou me good? There is no good but one. Who was Christ speaking of when he said, don't call me good, it's only one good? Who is he speaking about? Say it again. The pe no, he's not speaking about the people. He's not speaking about, look at all these evil people out here. Right. Have you committed sin before? Yes. Oh, Have I committed sin? Yes. Since you committed sin before? Right. So he can't be talking about the people? Right. We're not good. Right. We're evil. We need a savior, right? right. So who is he talking about? He's talking about, this is Christ speaking. We need to get from the top. And he said unto him, What callest thou me good? Christ said unto him, He's talking to someone. Read on. There is no good but one. It's only one good, that's one. Come on. There is God. That is who? God. That is who? God. So who is he talking about when he said there's one that's good? Who is, is he talking about himself? Who is he talking about? Who is God? To him. Who is God to him? It's his father, John. Right. He's talking about the most high God. Right. You understand? The most high God is who he's speaking about. He says only one good, and that's the most high. Come on. But if thou wilt enter into life. If thou wilt enter into life, or get the kingdom of God, or enter into heaven. Come on. Keep the commandments. Wait, what does the Bible say? Keep the commandments. My brother, did you hear that? How do you get the kingdom of God? By doing what? Read it again. Keep the commandments. We have to keep God's commandments, John. That's right. You understand that? We have to keep God's commandments. Right. Did you hear what the Bible just said? Yes. Say it again. It said keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. Right. You understand? Now I'm going to show you something. Because how many commandments are there? How many commandments are there, John? It's, it's a lot of commandments. Right. Over 600. Very good. Right. You understand? Now let me ask you this. Do we still need to keep those commandments? Do we still need to keep those commandments, John? Remember, give me 2nd Andrew chapter 14, verse 34. I was talking to a sister out here. You understand? I don't know if you live out here, my brother, but I was talking to a sister out here. And she got angry with me because I said, you have to change. I said, you can't just stay as you are. Right. You understand? God doesn't say, there's no scripture in the Bible that says, come as you are. Right. It ain't in there. Right. You can't show it to me. John, so that's the answer to the question I asked you. It's not in the Bible. You understand? I'm going to prove that. Read what you got. Second Judges, chapter 14, and verse 34. Bring it on. four, and so be that you will subdue your own understanding. We have to subdue what? Your own understanding. We have to control what? Your own understanding. We have to have discipline over what? Your own understanding. Right, so I have to control what's in where? In my mind. I got to control that. I got to control what's in my mind. Come on. And reform. I gotta do what? Reform. If I reform something, am I changing it or is it staying the same? Bring it on. It's, it's what? If I reform something, it's changing. Right. What's the name of your church? Shiloh Baptist Church. That is a reformation from what? Say it again? From the Catholic Church. Right. It's a reformation from that. Right. You understand? If there was no reformation in Christianity, the religion of it created by the white man, you right. understand, everyone would be a Catholic. You understand, everybody would be, be at the uh, worshiping the Pope still, Jeez. kissing his feet, you understand? Right. You get your child circumcised and he put his lips on your child's penis. That's what's going on in the, in the Catholic Church. Right. You understand? So baptism is a, 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 a result of a reformation from that religion. Right. Both created by man, you right. understand? I, what, what's the man that founded uh, the Baptist Church? Uh, it's like William or Charles or something like that. Charles Parham, that's the Pentecostal church. Yeah. You understand? A white man. That's who, that's who started that religion. Right. All right? So a reformation from that is a change from it. I want to do something different. So when the Bible says you have to reform your mind, is that keeping your mind the same? No, it's changing your mind. Read it again from the top. Therefore, and so be that you will subdue your own understanding. We got to subdue our own. We got to change our own understanding. Come on. And reform. And do what? And reform. We got to change what? Your hearts. We got to reform our minds. We got to reform our minds. Come on. 
He shall be kept alive. We shall do what? Be kept alive. Then we'll be kept alive. Right. We don't want to be destroyed. We don't want to die. Now we all gonna die. Can't nobody just live forever right now, right? right. So what is the Bible talking about? Come on. Right. And after death, ye and, and what? And after death, and after death, come on. Ye shall obtain mercy. We shall obtain what? Mercy. But well, we want mercy right now. We want a job right now. Right. We trying to hit the lotto right now. Right. God says, after death, ye shall obtain mercy. Right. That's just like hitting the lotto. Right. You understand? That's just like hitting the lotto. Right. You understand that, right? So we have to change the things that we thought before we came into the knowledge of God. Right. You can't come as you are and stay as you are. That's not in the Bible. Right. Matthew chapter 19. God says that we must do what? Keep his commandments. Right. Keep his commandments. My brother right here. Right here with the burgundy shirt on. Come close. You, you, you. Come close. Come close. I want to ask you something. I know you hear me, but I want to ask you something. You keep the commandments of God? Do you keep the commandments of God? Very good. All praises to the most high. Do you keep the commandments of God, John? You try. Very good. All right. I'm going to ask your wife. Is that okay? Do you keep the commandments of God? Say it again. She says she tries. She does her best. Give me Leviticus chapter uh, 21. I want the beard. All right. Say it again. John Smith. You hear that, John? That's who started the Baptist religion. Do you have a picture of Mr. John Smith? All right. We're going to put a mister on it because we know we got to have respect for the so-called white man. You understand? Let's look at him. That's who created that religion. Right. You understand? But I look at you like a nigga. You look at me like a nigga. Right? That's how we look at each other. Right. You understand? I'm not saying you and I look at each other like a nigga, but our people. Right. Don't we look at each other with hatred? Right. Yes, we do. Right. You understand? But we look at the white man like he is God. You right. understand? Why? Because he created the religion. He right. put his face on it. That's what he did. He put his face on it. Did you see the picture? He put his face on it. Read what you got. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Right. They shall not make boldness upon the head. Did you hear what the Bible just said? You can't bald your head. Did you hear that? It? It, read it again. They shall not make boldness upon the head. That's law right there. Did you know that was in the Bible? Did your pastor teach you that law right there? Did, he, did your pastor? Read it again. They shall not make boldness upon the head. God says that a man cannot shave off the hair on his head. Right. He can't do it. Right. You're breaking the law if you do that. What did we just read earlier? If you want to get eternal life, if you want to get, you want to make it into heaven, if you want to live forever, you got to keep what? The commandments of God. Right. You got to keep the commandments of God. Right. That's what you got to do. Guess what? This is the commandment we're reading. We're reading it right here in the same Bible that says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Right. We're reading it in the same Bible. Read it again. They shall not make boldness upon the head. Read on. Neither shall they save off the corner of their beard. Guess what? We got to have a mighty beard on our face. Right. We can't shave it off. We got to keep that thing. We can groom it. All right? Some of my brothers out here are barbers. You understand? You can clean it up. Right? That's not shaving it off. The white man taught us that. The white man taught us shaving it off completely is called a clean shave. Right. You understand? But that's uncleanness according to God. Right. You're unclean before him. You're right. in sin. You're breaking his commandments if you do that. Right. Don't go nowhere, my brother. We got many, many more laws to teach. You understand? The problem is we want to be taught smooth things that sound good. Right. That's what we hear inside these churches. They tell us things all the time. They say, God is good. Let's try it again. They say, God is good. There it is, all the time. Right. You see that? And you say that all the time, and people start to learn it. And then you start to believe it. Right. But when I read this Bible, God sent some sheep bears to kill 42 children. Right. That's what I read about in the Bible. Right. But I thought God was good all the time. Well, you you know, understand? That's a lie. You understand? That's a lie. God don't do good things all the time. You understand? He sent the devil to do all different types of things. Right. All right? But we're not, we not being taught that inside of this church right here. Right. We're not being taught that. All right? Read it again about the beard. Come on. They shall not make like boldness that. upon the head. Neither shall they save off the corner of the beard. John, don't go nowhere. I got another one. That's a lot for you. I got to get one for your wife. All right? Come, come back. Come back. Come back. You come back. Come back. Come back. I got one for you. I got to get one for your wife. All right? That's one commandment. You're not supposed to shave your beard off. Do you shave your beard off? 
You trim it up, but you don't. What if, what if somebody can't help? Say it again. What if somebody can't help them? Oh, can't help what? If they can't grow their hair, they gotta get bald. They have to. Be if they can't grow their hair. If they can't. The Bible didn't say that if you can't grow your hair, you're in sin. The Bible gave specific instructions not to do what? Not to shave it off. So it's to shave it off. If you can't go it, would you be shaving anything? You understand what I'm saying? If you if you were to if you if like my brother right here, right? He can't grow a whole lot of hair on his face. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? Lord, we're gonna keep sending prayers up. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's gonna get a mighty beard. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So right now he can't grow a whole lot of hair on his face. Right? But is he in sin because of that? No. He would be in sin if he did what, my sister? If he shaved it all, right. that makes sense? Some people, guess what? We call it forehead ball, right? Because what, what happens is that my hairline already starting to go back. You understand? My daddy hairline way back here, you understand? So, likely that's going to happen to me. You understand? <laughs> but it is what it is. You understand? It is what it is. But when my hair starts receding like that, am I in sin? Because the hair no longer grows on top of my head? No. It's only in sin. I'm only in sin if I do, if I do what? Right, because a lot of people, when they start to get that, you understand, that, that U shake that go like that, you know what I'm talking about, and this hair on the sides, what do people normally do? They shave the whole thing off. Right. They shave the whole thing off. But guess what? That's sin, according to what we just read. Right. You can't do that. You understand? So you're not in sin if you can't grow the hair. The Bible didn't say that. It said don't shave it off. You understand? Right? You clear on that now? Very good. Let's get a commandment for your wife. Deuteronomy chapter 22. You already got what I want? Yes, Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Did you hear that, my sister? Right here, right here, right here. Record it. Did you hear what the Bible just said? Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now today, what type of clothing does women wear that pertains to the man? Yeah. Specifically, which one? What type of, say it again? She already knows, she on point. You understand? Sure, did you teach your wife that? You probably did. Cause you're a leader, John. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So guess what? Woman can't wear what? She can't wear what? Woman can't wear what? She can't yes. wear pants. Right. right, just like I can't wear what? Read on. The woman shall not wear that which pertain of unto a man. Come on. Neither, neither shall a man, shall a man put on a woman's garment. Put on what? A woman's garment. What type of clothing only pertain to women that I can't wear? You would look at me strange if I had it on. Say it again. A dress. Right. You would look at me strange. You're a leader, John. Right. You understand that? Right. If I had a dress on, would you look at me as a leader? No. You understand? You wouldn't. Right. You wouldn't look at me as a man. Right. Right? So, how should I look at my sisters that's out here dressed like I'm supposed to be dressed? Should I make an exception for them? Should I make an exception for them? Should I still look at them like a woman, even though they dress like a man? Should I do that? Is that okay? You think that's the right thing to do, John? Is that the right thing for me to do? Is that the godly thing for me to do? Say it again. Say, say it again, sister. You say yes. That's the God. So the godly thing to do, according to Miss Miss Horn, Miss Cora, according to Miss Cora, would be to make an exception for the woman. Okay, so okay, so I should look at a man with a dress on as a leader. That, according to you, right, Miss Cora? I'm, I'm saying, should I look at him as a leader, or should I look at them as a Something else. Which one is it? it? Should I look at them as a leader? Yes or no? No, I shouldn't look at them as a leader. That's right. You understand? Very good. That's a, that's a very clear answer. You know, it's a lot of sisters that keep commandments, you understand, with these things on their clothes and nice hair wraps and long dresses that can't answer a simple question just like you just did. They can't say yes or no. They make a whole bunch of excuses. I'm talking sisters that know this Bible. They can't just say, no, I can't look at him as a leader. You understand? So that's good. That means that you can be honest. That's what that means. You understand? You got to continue with that spirit. All right, read that scripture again. 
the woman shall not wear that which pertain of unto a man. The Bible says that a woman shall not wear what? Pants. Because what? those pertain to who? Men. All right? So if I'm a man and I have read on, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. If I'm a man and I have a woman's garment or I have a dress on, all right, Miss Cora says that you shouldn't look at me as a leader if I have a dress on. And I agree with her. Right. Yes, I agree with you. We on the same page? Now let's read the beginning of the verse again. The woman shall not wear that which pertain of unto a man. So when there is a woman, all right, and she's dressed like a man, should I make an exception for her and say I'm not going to look at her, all right, as what the Bible says she is. I'm going to look at her as a woman, just like I would look at a, 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 a man with a dress on as a leader. That's basically what you're saying when you say that. So I'm going to ask you again, should I make an exception for a woman dressed like a man and look at her as something different from what the Bible calls her? Or should I look at her like the Bible says she is? Which one? Bring it out. According to the New Testament, not the Old Testament. But guess what, my sister? The same laws are in the Old Testament and the New Testament. What? All right? The same laws. Love your neighbor as you love yourself is in what? the Old and the New. What? You understand? I can't love you. You can't love your wife if you commit adultery on her. What? You can't show love to her that way. But that's in the Old. You understand? So all of this is commandments of God. Dude. All right? So let's go back to the wardrobe, my sister. Hold on. Let's go back to the wardrobe first. We got to deal with this woman. All right. So as far as the woman is concerned, when she is dressed like a man, when she is dressed like a man, when the woman is dressed like a man, you can look all over any one of our women because it's common for them to dress like men. Right. Should we look at them as holy women? How should we look at them? I'm going to show you what the Bible says. Look at them as. Come on. For all that do so are an abomination. What? Abomination. What? Abomination. So my sister, should I look at a woman with pants on as an abomination or should I look at them as something else? Which one? You don't know? I mean, I don't know how to answer that. All right, John, I'm going to ask you. All right, because you're a leader. All right, I'm going to ask you. Read that again. For all that do so are an abomination. When a man is dressed like a woman, should I look at him? A man dressed like a woman. If I had a dress on, should, I, should you look at me as a leader or should you look at me as an abomination? Say it again. You're not. How will you look at me? How am I dressed? How does the Bible describe the way I'm dressed? An abomination. Very all right. good. All right. Now, the woman that has pants on, all right, should I look at this woman as a princess, a holy, righteous Woman, or should I see her as the Bible described her as an abomination? Which one? I, I believe that time is changing. I'm not. I, it's, hey, 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 give me Matthew chapter 5, all right? I'm going to ask you the question again. Let me give you another chance. Because I don't believe this pastor taught you the commandments of God. Right. So I'm going to give you another chance, all right? You got what I want, Matthew chapter 5. What you got? Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Well, no, that's not what I want. I want verse 29. Yays be yay, nays be nay. You know what I'm talking about? Give me uh, right here, verse 37. Read what you got. Verse 37. But let your communication be yay, yay, nay, nay. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. Of what? Of evil. Of what? Of evil. Right, so the Bible saying, when you ask the question, right, if you can't answer yes or no, whatsoever comes after is what? Evil. It's evil. I didn't make that up. I didn't say that. You what? understand? The Bible said, the end is red too. <laughs> I mean, who wrote it? Hey, hey, you're right. All right, and we're the leaders, so we got to be followers of who? Of Christ. All right, so let's go back. So I'm going to ask you a question again. You ready? All right, here it comes. You ready? All right, so when a woman is dressed, it's in a bomb. Very good. Cop your hands for John. You understand? All praises. All right, so my sister, you got to get in order with that. My sister, right here. You got to get in order with that. You got to get in order with that thing. Because we tired of seeing our sisters walking around looking like abominations. We tired of that thing. We want our sisters to be dressed modestly. You understand? That's how we want our sisters to be dressed. 
We want them to be to look like princesses. That's how we want to see them. But I can't look at my sister as a princess if she's dressed like a man. You understand that, right? All right, very good. You understand that? Yeah, they deal with them, deal with them. Uh, don't say things like that, John. Please, don't say things like that, John. All right? Because what you're saying is that your wife can do whatever she wants to do. And I don't believe that your pastor, maybe he did. I don't believe that you believe that. I don't believe that you think, that I don't believe that you think it's all right for your woman to dress however she wants to dress. I don't think you believe that, John. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong!